everyone welcome to Fifi's money management vlog hope you guys are doing well today um, Wow <laughs> I am broadcasting all the way from South Africa believe it or not Cape Town um, and I woke up with this brilliant idea this morning um, to start vlogging about how to manage your money at the moment we are sitting with a crisis um, not only in South Africa and Cape Town, but all over the world as we are affected by the uh, coronavirus pandemic. Um, and a lot of people are placed in very difficult financial situations and they don't know how to deal with it. And um, people are losing their jobs, um, people are being retrenched, people are being placed on what we call in South Africa a short time. Um, and it places a lot of financial strain um, on people's households, on the small businesses and businesses in general. So the question really is, what do we do? What do we do in situations like this? It is extremely apparent that we can't become millionaires overnight unless you discover in a dream or you wake up with a brilliant idea to actually start a great app and let it go viral that would be fantastic or you can win the lottery which would also be great i think lots of people would enjoy that one because it's an easy way to make money but for those of you who have to go through the process of learning and basically just wanting to know how to deal with your money better this is definitely the channel for you and if you really really like it please subscribe and like the video and um, I will just make a lot more <laughs> okay so I'm just gonna give you a few tips um, in my videos each day um, or alternative days um, because I don't want to bombard you with too much information the key is to learn and the key is to apply what we learn every single day so that ultimately um, you can create a successful portfolio over time remember yes you hear about bankers you hear about people that are into stocks and markets and you're like whoa you know when you think of portfolio it's like such a huge word and you think that it's only for rich people or people that have a lot of money or extremely wealthy people because there's a difference between being rich and wealthy and um, the truth is that your income and the money that you acquire for your household you could basically say that that is your portfolio so the key is that you are able to manage your own portfolio you are the manager you are the broker you are the overseer the reason why i say this is because sometimes we see a lot of videos and blogs and information um, regarding money management and they will say you know speak to your broker speak to your financial advisor but a lot of the time getting a financial advisor um, is really effective when you have enough wealth or enough money to be managed by a financial advisor because remember your financial advisor is going to take a part commission from whatever income stream you do have so this videos are basically for those of you who are still starting up and would like to make better decisions with regards to your money cool so the lesson that i want us to learn today um, is don't spend money that you don't have to impress people or pretend that you do have money so basically what that means is a lot of times people are living above the the means they are living above their own income streams and um, in order to keep up with the Jones and in order to keep up with society and what is what is um, a standard um, according to what is accepted by other people you need to impress them with your money so for example you earn 5,000 rand and 
your next door neighbor or your friend has um, a pair of Nike Air Jordans and cost 2,000 Rand and you need to have money for traveling fare for the whole month to travel to work. Um, if you're using public transport, that's if you're not using your own vehicle, um, then you need to have some money for your own toiletries so that you can look after yourself. And um, if you are renting, oh goodness, I think you're going to be in trouble. Because if you look at those few basic things, your salary is gone, completely gone. If you take away 2,000 Rand for your tackies that you want to buy, 1,500 Rand for your traveling fee, that's 3,500 Rand. Then you need at least maybe three or 500 Rand for your own toiletries and you have 1,000 Rand left. If you were to pay a rental of maybe 2,000 or 2,500 Rand, there is no way that you would be able to make that budget at all. And so that is just an example because the key is that we should not live above our means in order to impress people because we can't afford it. Sometimes that even means going to concerts, going to restaurants, buying really expensive clothes or makeup. And the reason why is because we want to impress people. But at the end of the day, if you're going to impress people with the very little that you have, you will be the loser at the end of the day. The reason why I say that, not that I'm saying that you are a loser, but financially you will be in a loss. And the reason why I say that is because at the end of the day, a lot of those people that are pretending with you that they have money probably also don't have money. So now you have a whole group of people that don't have money, you know, trying to impress one another instead of saving and instead of using their money much, much, much smarter and much, much, much wiser. So my task for you guys for this month, um, especially during this pandemic, I know it's very difficult for you to be able to save some money or put some money away during this time. But for those of you who are not spending money anymore on traveling fee or on petrol, that is a good way to start saving that money and putting that money away for a rainy day. Savings are extremely important, especially when you want to start to build and start to create wealth. There are many other ways that I will be speaking about in the future but for this task I would just like you to go home think about it wherever you may be watching from you might be sitting on the toilet <laughs> you might be sitting at your desk you might be sitting in your office you might be sitting on a bus or a train or a plane think about it think about where in your life have you spent money or given out money that you didn't have in order to impress someone and then at the end of the day you were the one that were in the financial loss because you didn't have enough money to come out at the end of the month so that is just from me signing off um, until I speak to you guys again it was really fun I'm um, doing my first video and I really hope that um, you had something to think about it I will speak more about this topic as we delve deeper into ways to become financially free and how to manage your money. It is not something that will just happen overnight unless you win the lottery. It is something that you can work on just like anything else in your life. There are many things that you can work on and I believe that whatever situation that you find yourself in financially, it can be turned around. So take the time and don't worry, don't be afraid. Think about the changes that you can make and until I see you again, be smart and be wise, money wise.